Okay, so I think that's pretty much all the methods we're going to need for now uh, for our, our player class. Uh, we can start filling these in uh, in our constructor. Uh, we'll put the texture to null. Um, we'll set our position. We can set this as our, we don't need to set this to null or zero or anything. We can ma actually set this to where we want our player ship to start on the screen. Um, for now, we'll just make it uh, a new vector 2. And on the x axis, we'll start it at 300. On the y axis, we'll start it at 300 for now. Actually, let's change something real quick. Let's go back to the game 1. And let's set a few things in there. We'll save this off real quick. Go back to the game one. Uh, up here in your in your constructor, there's a few things we want to add. Uh, we'll add uh, in the device manager. We'll go graphics. Dot is full screen, and we're going to set that to false. Uh, we will add, and basically that's just a variable telling us if we want the game to be full screen when we run it or not, and um, Maybe when you publish, you'll want to turn that to true before you do so, but for now, when we're creating the game, we're going to be debugging and running a lot, so we'll just want a small window so it's not um, taking over our screen. Uh, we'll also want to add graphics. Dot preferred back, buff back buffer width, which will set the uh, width of the, of the screen, and I'll set that to 800, because this is going to be a vertical top-down shooter, so um, enemies are going to be coming from the top of the screen and, and going down, so we're going to make the width 800 and graphics that preferred back buffer height, we're going to make that a little longer just so it's uh, um, longer uh, vertically than it is wide. We'll just go 950 for that. You guys can make these, if you decide that you want your screen bigger or smaller, um, you can adjust these at any time and uh, and and change that. So basically these two are just setting the width and the height of our game window. Um, and we can actually we'll change uh, the title of our window so it'll be this uh, window dot title equals I'm just gonna call it XNA 2D Space Shooter Tutorial. And that should be it. Um, that's all I really wanted to do in the game one here before we move on. Just so we're setting our screen um, dimensions and we've got a cool title on there. So back to our player class. Um, we'll just keep that position there for now. Obviously we're not going to want them starting you know, at 300 to 300 but once we uh, get some of our image put in we'll find out a better position for that. For now that's good though. So we'll want to set our speed. Uh, for now, um, I think a pretty good speed for now will be, let's go with 10. And uh, we'll just set is colliding to fa false for now, because obviously when we start the game, the, the spaceship isn't going to be colliding with things, because we don't have anything in there for it to collide with at the moment. So we'll set that to false. Uh, in, our, in our load content, uh, it'll be in my previous tutorial. I loaded the con I, I changed this because I found out a better way of handling uh, loading the content within the class instead of having to go to the load content in your game one cs and set all the textures for your um, objects in here. We can just do it right in the class. So um, in your load content, we'll set the texture. The texture will be equal to content dot load. It is a texture two D and uh, we don't have anything right there right now that I added to our content so we'll just set that there um, our draw method that's all we're going to need for our load content because right now all we're doing is loading one sprite and that is the picture for our spaceship uh, in our draw method uh, it's just like uh, my other tutorials it'll be sprite batch dot draw and this takes uh, three arguments here and it's going to be the texture it's asking where we want to draw that texture on the screen which will be our position 
and then it's asking for a color. Um, notice down here in, in the notes it says the color to tint to sprite use color dot white for full color with no tinting which um, I guess that, that really doesn't relate to what we're doing but it, by default I always put the color to white um, when I'm drawing a texture because you won't see the white anyways. Um, you know what actually let's go ahead and load our, our texture into our content. So you go over here on the right side of your screen the Solution Explorer, right click your content. You want to add an existing item. Uh, we're going to go to the picture. Where did I store those? YouTube tutorials, studio shooter graphics, art. Okay, this is going to be our ship image. I'm going to be putting a link in the description of this video uh, with with um, these images right here. This is going to be the base images we're going to start out with uh, for our game. Our space background is going to be a ship, which I got off of um, OpenGameArt.org, which has a lot of cool 2D graphics with um, Creative Commons licenses that anyone can use for anything, um, and they're pretty high quality. I submit a lot of 3D art there as well, so check it out if you want to get some more graphics for your game. Um, so, yep, I'll put a link to the to a zip file with these files in the description. Uh, right now, let's just load our ship, and it popped up over here in our content. So, for our ship image, we can just add ship now that we have it in our content. Um, An update, you know what? We can leave that blank for right now. Uh, we're going to build this. Let's see, where, what am I forgetting here? Aha. Got a bracket deleted at some point. Um, so right now if we if we build the solution, run it, all we're gonna get is our window. With the white with the cool cornflower blue background uh, by default. Uh, and it is set to the dimensions, eight hundred wide by nine fifty tall. Uh, so what we want to do it in order to draw our ship right now is uh, we'll go to our game one dot CS And uh, up here in the main, we're going to um, uh, create an object of our class, um, instantiate an object. So it'll be player P, well I'll just, I'll just name it P for ease, um, equals new player. And then down in our so we don't have to load the content anymore because we're doing it within the class now. I just figured that out today, which is kind of cool. I'm kind of learning uh, with you guys because I am fairly new to XNA. Uh, most of my history is, is with uh, C++ and the Allegro library. So in the update uh, right here, we can, uh, we can just do p.update and it'll be game time. And then down in the draw, uh, first we wanna we wanna do a um, sprite batch dot begin, just like the last video. Uh, you wanna do all your drawing between uh, sprite batch begin and sprite batch end. So add a sprite batch end, and then in between those two, where be between when it's beginning and it's ending is where we want to draw um, all our sprites to the screen. So we can just do p dot draw and that takes a uh, sprite batch. So if we did everything correctly I should be able to save this uh, build and run it and it should put our ship at where do we set that to? It should uh, draw our ship at the position of 300 from the left and 300 down from the top left corner of the screen. And it didn't. We have an error. Oh, and I know why. See, old habits die hard. So, since I did load the te texture within the class, I got to remember to call the load content uh, method for for the player class in the load content here. So um, p dot load content, and that takes content. 
Now we should be good. Save it off. Build. Run. There's a background with our ship. Uh, it doesn't do anything. It's just simply drawing to the screen with our cool cornflower blue background. Alright, to quickly finish up, um, actually I think I'm going to stop here. Uh, the next video will be the second part of our player class where I'll actually add the uh, controls so we can move our ship around um, and adding you know some some bounds so that the the ship can't go off of the screen and uh, that's it for now if I'm moving too fast let me know guys uh, um, I mean I, when I did the pong clone tutorial it was kinda basic and I, I did move through the classes and stuff like that pretty slow so uh, if you want me to slow down and explain some stuff a little more, let me know. Um, if, if this is a good pace for you guys and, and you guys are, uh, you know, pretty comfortable with X and A, let me know that too. I just kind of know what my uh, viewer base is like and I'll, I'll go from there. So uh, with that, uh, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time. Peace!